Hey guys, it's Josh up here in Montreal, right on the water, on the old river. So some of you guys are asking about uh, my little trailer setup. This is uh, my little electric mini bike, two wheel drive, with uh, my uh, little trailer for my work equipment. So a few of you guys are wondering how I can do uh, large buildings. Uh, we water fed pull like 99% of our work. Uh, we do mostly commercial and we do some uh, condo buildings. But uh, some of you guys are wondering how we can do that on our bicycles. So this is how we do it. This is our little trailer. So it's, uh, it's stainless steel and it's, uh, it's about four feet. Yeah, it's a four foot bed. And um, it's about, uh, I think it's 22 inches wide worth of cargo space. And uh, how this box is made, there's uh, four cotter pins, two on each side. I can pull those in about uh, 20 seconds and the whole box slides off like a dump truck. So that I'm left with just a flatbed. So when I do long hauls on my bike, maybe, uh, so we're talking like 50, 60, 70 kilometers, um, I just use the flatbed. I just tie down my equipment. It's uh, less wind resistance, it's less weight, and uh, I can go faster. I don't have to worry about uh, uh, shaking my little box to bits. So we have uh, a three-stage system in here. We have our RO, our DI, and our pre-filter. And then uh, we carry our poles in this. Um, if we need more than about 60 feet, uh, we strap more on using these two anchors. But uh, it's fully lockable. So when we go in for a lunch break or a coffee break, we just put lock, 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 lock. And it, uh, it can really be parked anywhere. I mean, if someone really wanted to get into it, for sure they'd do it. But uh, we don't leave it unattended for more than uh, a few minutes. So I'm going to show you the inside of it. Oh, so spacious. So spacious. Look at that. Wow. So we've got uh, reverse osmosis membrane here with our DI little guy. We have good water up here in Montreal. Uh, it's incoming um, between 50 parts per million and 130 parts per million. So out of the RO, I'm getting between two and uh, 12 percent, uh, 12 uh, parts per million. So we almost don't need a DI, but it's just for, uh, it's just for my security so I can feel good about myself. So that's, uh, I think it's about 300 feet of uh, eight millimeter water fed pole hose. Mostly uh, old Aquadapter. Some of you old guys will know what I'm talking about. That awesome orange hose. Um, and let me know if you can find any. I would uh, I would buy some from Antarctica and pay for the shipping. I love that stuff so much. Um, so we've got pre-filter, RO, DI, hose. I have a bag over there with attachments. Um, pretty much everything. I have two or three of um, just for redundancy. So that's the inside of the trailer. It's a, an, a little skeleton on the inside. The frame is aluminum to keep it light. The base of it is, uh, is steel. There's two runners that, there's two runners along each side, like a kind of a ladder frame on a truck just to keep the box uh, rigidity. And that's the inside. So it's, it's nothing special. You never know. I could maybe live in here if I ever needed. So that's it. I keep things super simple. And uh, that's how I, I compete with the big boys in, uh, in my area. Um, they still think I'm just a bucket bob, like a hobo living under a bridge with my bicycle. And I don't, I don't really mind that. Um, because, uh, because I do what they do on my bicycle. Um, and as far as visibility, my clients love it. So we almost don't market anymore. We just use uh, use our bicycles. So usually I hang uh, business cards here and on the other side. Um, and it's usually empty, like literally within a couple of hours. P 
people think it's so crazy and weird and and fun and they get uh, jealous when I park anywhere I want uh, and I come through traffic with a big smile on my face so they remember this little buggy and uh, and that's pretty much my advertising that's how we market word of mouth and just this little guy we have a few other bikes that we roll around on this is our this is our big daddy so that's it doing a water-fed pole window cleaning out of a little bicycle and, and trailer up in Montreal we've got Molson we've got the Jacques Cartier the clock house Pont Champlain way over there the wheel and then uh, Marché Bon Secours and downtown that's it it's like four degrees today but it's uh, it's sunny so if you guys have any questions about uh, how to use, uh, how to transfer your business into uh, a cargo bike based business, uh, let me know. I've helped a few people uh, do it and they love it. It is, uh, it is, it is truly freedom from, um, from our cars. I still, I leave our little truck at home, home based and I just roll around with this bad boy. So that's it.